be right there for me. <gasps> Woo! Hey, what's up? This is DT with another video for your cerebellum. And we're ordering in sushi. I want to teach you some sushi terminology, if you will, while we're at it. So as usual, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small red square at the bottom right corner of this video. Oh, and also, you can follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Didn't expect that coming, huh? Via the handle Daddy T Japan. So we ordered from a spot called Gin no Sara via the delivery service Demayakan. So if you're not sure how to make an account on Demayakan, check out my video how to order food online in Japan. It explains a lot about your address format and how to set up an account with them. So as you can see here, Gin no Sara or Silver Plate has a decent variety of sushi and you can also order individual pieces or a party platter of sorts. All depends on your situation, whatever tickles your fancy. Now we ordered individual items. Let's see what all they got here. Now I am a shrimp nut. I mean like, I can go ham on some shrimp, leave it around me and see what happens, okay? I dare you. Now, shrimp in Japanese is called ebi. Salmon is called shake. Tuna, maguro. And some dishes have salmon eggs called ikura. They, these taste good with soy sauce on top and one of my oldest daughter's favorite delicacies, but I can't stand the texture myself. She's also the natto monster that I spoke about in my other videos. Don't leave it around her, I'm telling you. Now, I'm not a big fan of eel, but I heard it doesn't taste so bad. You see here they have one true squid. Wow. <laughs> I hate to see what fake squid look like. And inari. Inari is basically a tofu roll stuffed with rice. With seasoning on top. Maybe some furikake, stuff like that. So if you like tofu, check that one out. You got kohada fish off to the left. Now that's a fish that's pickled in vinegar and salt. And so you got fishes of all types left and right. Scallops or hotate in Japanese on the right. Oh, I love eating these in Hokkaido on a hot grill right out of the shell. Really good. Oh yeah, let's talk about Tatsuta. Now this is fried chicken, but it's slightly different than your regular karage in that it's always marinated before being dipped in cornstarch, giving it a lighter color than karage. Just as good. These desserts don't look half bad either. I see they got a cold stone dish. If you didn't know, they have a cold stone creamery down in uh, Minatomarai as well. And I can't wait for that to get opened back up so I can go down and visit. Wings! <laughs> with sesame seeds too. Mm, can't go wrong with that. Also, if you like wasabi, like I do, then try to get your own stash from the grocery store because when I ordered, I only got one packet from them. And it's been said that because there is such a high demand for pure wasabi, that more than 80% of the wasabi consumed in the world is actually laced with or completely replaced by horseradish because wasabi takes too long to grow and so it cannot keep up with the demand. I will have to check into the wasabi crisis further on my next grocery store video. Sound like a plan? Good. Save the date. Now, I actually ordered a few of these roasted shrimps with green onion on top for myself. Let's get it out on the table along with the other stuff and see what's up. Now, if you're new to Japan and no one's ever told you this before, I will tell you. 
not all sushi is created equal. We have what we call dollar sushi, which is on the cheap end. You have very expensive sushi. And then you have the medium range priced sushi. Gin no Sada is that, right in the middle. If you're not sure whether or not you're in an expensive sushi restaurant, if you sit down and there's an old man in the middle and they're just shouting out orders at him <laughs> and he's making them all by hand and remembering them, then you're probably in an expensive sushi restaurant because it takes them upwards of 10 years just to become a sushi chef. <laughs> yeah, here go my shrimp dish I was talking about. Man, look at this little bitty ass wasabi. See, this is what I'm talking about. Get your own stash, yo. And here we have some miniature onigiris, fatty tuna, and natto. These are really good for the kids, easy to eat. Just put some shoyu on top and there's a little ginger on the side. And here you got some snow crab, real crab by the way, not the imitation stuff at the store that we covered before in one of my supermarket videos. And here you have some ikura or salmon eggs, I touched on that earlier. And also grilled salmon with some ginger on the side. Oh, she sold on it. They say you gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelet. In this case, one egg. So we'll just call this a sushi omelet. <laughs> it's like a hosh posh of everything mixed in together. Mm. This is for mom and tea, by the way, not mine. She has a refined palate. Mix, 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 mix. That's a video game reference for all my Fist of the North Star or Hokuto no Kin fans. Get it in there real good. Then, itadakimasu. And there you have it, folks. Gin no Sada for all your sushi to your door needs. I recommend them even though they skimp me on the wasabi. I forgive them. Also, I hope you learned some new words today. And if you're not too into sushi, give it a try anyway, since you will be living here. It'll be all around you, I assure you. Embrace it, try something new. Now I have more vids on the way. I'm slowly upgrading my gear to bring you better and richer content. So subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and yeah, I still plan on doing that skydiving jump. DT out. Be right there with me. <gasps> Woo!